Good morning and welcome to day five, I believe, in Ponte de Lima. I think that's a beautiful thing about the Camino because you lose track of time, whether it's day four or day five. It feels like four or five weeks because, well, every day is a different day. You meet the same people and different people. You have great conversations. You do a lot of walking, talking, and a lot of alone time as well. And yeah, I'm starting off my day late again, but that's okay. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. But I think that's the biggest difference for me when it comes to, well, comparing this Camino to the previous Camino is that I'm just taking my time now and I feel like going whenever I feel like going. The nice thing here is also you're not racing for a bed. There's not as many people uh, because it's less popular than the Camino Frances. It's also low season in April. And it's nice when you can just arrive to a place and know that you'll have a bed and take your time. But Ponte de Lima, this is a beautiful place, a great stop. Many people stay here. Um, the bridge is right behind me. The albergue is also on the other end of this bridge. And last night, met up some friends that had some dinner, had some ice cream, had some great conversations along the way. And this morning, we will meet up again in a small town. It's going to be an uphill walk today. And by, by today, day five, we've already met people. You see the same people again. And this is where these communal bonds, friends, families really form. So I'm excited to get the day going. And yeah, see you later. Ooh, this is what I miss, a sweat, a little uphill, a lot of greenery, nature, there's water to my right, a stream of water, there are fireworks in the background because it's Easter Sunday. But yeah, working up a sweat, but this is what I need, this is what I need, doing a lot of thinking and reflection as well, walking alone. And it's half past 12, getting a bit hungry, so at the next pit stop, we'll grab a bite to eat before heading to I don't even know where we're heading, so let's go. The nice thing about the Camino is that when you want to walk alone, you can walk alone. When you want to walk with people, you can join people. And I've done a lot of walking alone this morning, reflecting on my values. You know, I used to think about values as, well, I didn't really believe in them. It was corporate speak, words that didn't really resonate with me. But when I think about what makes a, a good life, why I enjoy certain types of work, why I like and dislike certain types of people, it goes back to values. We're each very different individuals and 
so yeah, I thought a lot about values, what my values are, and it's been a good morning so far. Yes, on to lunch, values and lunch. Wow, what a pleasant surprise on this Easter day. So after this big climb up that hill, I was exhausted. I sat down, took a big rest, and this lady comes over with some sponge cake. And she offers me some cake. She sees that I'm tired and she says, Happy Easter. And then she comes back and gives me more cake, homemade cake, and gives me a beer as well. And so, yeah, I'm just extremely grateful and happy. Um, what a great experience. Okay, he's like, for example, I had one team that he made. 